The new method of our square shape was inspired by freeform optics. The complete setup of material processing is rotation asymmetric. So you have a rotation asymmetric F theta optic and all your beam expanders and your optics are rotation asymmetric. But the problem is you want to have a squared intensity distribution in the focal plane. And that means your beam shaping element has to be a free form. It has to break the symmetry, otherwise you would have to change all the other optics and that's not very convenient. At first, of course, we tried single shot experiments to prove that we could actually create non-symmetric material interaction on stainless steel. So we created various top head profiles and also some other structures that are non-symmetric. And secondly, we were doing what we were aiming for in the first place. We were scanning um, an area of stainless steel and we're creating laser-induced um, periodic surface structures which are used as a, as a grating and we could show that we improved significantly the homogeneity of the whole area compared to being structured with a Gaussian distribution. And additionally, we also looked at interactions that are used for micromaterial processing. So we were creating grooves or micro channels and could show that you can enhance the quality of a groove um, extremely. It had steeper walls, you could go deeper and also the whole structure was more homogeneous and therefore could either when it's used for marking have a higher contrast or if it's used as a micro channel um, be more sufficient uh, for the application. For our knowledge, it's the first time that it was demonstrated with a, a ultra-short laser pulse that you can actually use such beam shaping elements in a material processing um, workflow and achieve such great results, increase the processing speed and also have a variety of different uh, focal distributions just having one beam shaping element. So you just choose your, your distance uh, in between your optics and your, your working space and then you can change the focal distribution and change the interaction. Um, and this is an extremely high flexibility to use such an element. And above that, our elements made um, via polishing. So they have much less subsurface damage than compared to um, diffractive optical elements and so they are extremely suitable for that ultra short laser applications because they can withstand those high powers and peak intensities of the laser pulses. First of all, it's a refractive optical element. So it's made from fused silica and therefore has a huge bandwidth and also can withstand high laser powers and is highly suitable for ultra-short laser pulse applications. And above that, we offer it for the major wavelength in material processing. So no matter what laser you have, we have the suitable product for you. And as you can see, it's tiny, so it can go anywhere in your setup and it doesn't really have to be right in front of the scanning optics because it works in a collimated beam and you can place it wherever it suits you best in your optical setup.